Hey, hi, hello. Hola, nova mensa, meu amigo. Bryce and Gigi, back with another episode. And today, we have a good one. The one and only, Helson Campiao Gracie. Graces us with his excellent technique on a gentleman wearing a white belt. An honor it would be. Helson Gracie was the reigning Brazilian national champ for 22 years in a row. And he is still a beast at the age of 60 as you will see. With that said, let's get into it. Helson Gracie kicks things off by stretching out his lower back, and also his legs. Look at the flexibility of this man in his 60s, essentially doing a full split. He adjusts his red belt, the pair shake hands. Helson begins with a seemingly unbreakable grip on the lapel and instantly picks the ankle putting the white belt on his ass, rising to a low and tight passing posture. With a grip still on the left Achilles tendon, Helson is one hip switch away from an easy guard pass. See how Helson leaves no room between him and the white belt in this tight side control. He presses forward, closing the space. See the face flat and looking away. These details matter and Helson would feel immovable. Now, see how Helson raises his knee with mechanical efficiency. Raising the knee like this leaves minimal room for an opponent to potentially underhook the leg. Helson rises to the neon belly, forming this grip on his own lapel. The white belt can do nothing but watch as Helson falls back with the arm into the arm bar. <laughs> Alright, you got lucky, I want a rematch. And a rematch he got as Helson forms the same grip on the lapel and finds the same ankle pick, rising once again, but this time standing taller, only to immediately fall back for a textbook straight ankle lock. Two taps down, Helson opts toward the white belt's closed guard. He gets his elbows tight and on the inside, preventing any extension of his arms and minimizing risk of triangle. As the white belt gentleman begins to threaten a close guard lapel choke, Helson reaches back, prying open the close guard into a tight over under pass. He then playfully stacks the white belt before releasing him to the side and obtaining the side control once again, Helson uses this hip switch to flatten the white belts back onto the mat into a more conventional side control to begin investigating a far side Americana. And while threatening this, Helson crosses the leg over the face, gripping his own bicep. Helson leans back with the armbar. Okay, damn it. Another sub down, Helson pulls this white belt into his open guard and finds a far side control of the bicep with his foot and no grip. His grips are focused on the same side lapel and hand. See how the white belt gentleman doesn't address this far side bicep control. Despite there being no grip, this is a good example of a defensive instinct that comes with experience by voluntarily exposing yourself to these scenarios. And with those same side controls, Helson snatches an easy open guard armbar textbook. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Shoot. Keeping the open guard with the exact same controls, Helson spreads this white belt's arms wide, leaving him open to the omote sankaku, pulling the head and getting the tap. Now, settling into Helson's closed guard, this white belt is trying to stay alive, but makes the mistake of putting this hand on the mat by Helson's head, making it easy for Helson to frame on the head and pass the leg over, locking up the triangle, but over the shoulder, Helson is able to use this control to find an unconventional straight arm lock. After much deliberation and much respect, these two gentlemen complete their role. What an honor it would be to experience Grandmaster Helson's jujitsu. That's it from me for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope to see you again soon. And if you like what I'm doing, be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and turn on those noties. I'm Bryson Juji, and as always, be strong, keep training. Us, 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 us.